Now to see why we built our robot this way. So you use this thicker, almost cardboard-like stuff that's thicker than paper. When you run your hands across it, and I would be careful, you need to make sure the glue is dry before you do that, you can actually feel the pieces sticking up off the surface. So in essence, it has created a texture. So not only am I using the elements of design line and then shape, but I also have texture on here. So what you're gonna be able to do now is you can actually take this and print with it. So I have this, I'm placing it on the table. I am going to take a sheet of paper and put it over top of it. Now, if you're worried about this scooting around, then you can actually tape it down. So I'm gonna do that just to make sure it does not scoot around while I'm talking to you guys. So I don't need to waste a lot of tape. So if I just do this corner and then go diagonally across from it in this corner, that should hold it down pretty well for me. So it seems like it's stuck on there. So what I'm gonna do is overlap a piece of paper onto it, and then I'm going to take a crayon that does not have paper on it. That should give you a clue as to how we're going to use it. We want all the color, so we're not gonna use the tip of it to draw with. So we're actually trying to add color to the surface of the paper by rubbing it on its side. So because the texture underneath it is gonna push back against the crayon, the robot will actually print coming through because of those thick pieces you put on there. So this is called a collagraph because as you guys are putting this together, you probably heard that word and thought, well, it's like a collage. So a collagraph is a collage that you actually print with. So I'm holding down my paper. I'm going to rub the crayon on its side and you can already start to see, well, there's my robot's arm. There's my robot's head. And I know the parts, I designed the robot, so I know the parts that I'm looking for. There's the legs, the other arm. So you're gonna try to get as clear a print as you can. Cause like for instance, I know this is one part of the arm, but there should be another shape here. So maybe I need to, oh, my crayon broke, but it'll still work. So maybe I need to go over. Yep, when I did that, that made it show up even more. So I'm not trying to color this. I'm not gonna sit here going back and forth over it, back and forth over it a lot. Once I've gone over each spot just a couple of times and gotten the shape to print through, then I have my robot. Now the nice thing about that is because you have this collage already put together for your collagraph, you can actually print with different colors. So if I overlap a new piece of paper on here and then I take another crayon that does not have paper on it, so a completely different color, when I run this across there, I actually get to print a whole nother robot with a whole different color. Now, some of your smaller details may not come out all the way. So the cool thing about this too, is you don't have to consider this 100% done. So I'm gonna clear my work surface. And let's say I go back to that blue one. Or actually, no, I'll stick with the red one here. And I have some Crayola markers here. And what I'm gonna do now is go back in and sort of redefine some of the edges that maybe didn't come out as well. So this side, I can't quite see all of the robot's head. So on this side, I'm gonna go around it and just sort of trace that edge. I could go around the eyes a little bit more if I want those to show up better. Maybe the line for the mouth here. And you know, I didn't add antennas to my robot, but I think that would be kind of cool to have some. So I'm gonna put those on there and I can add some elements. Maybe they were just too small for me to put on there when I was doing the three dimensional collage. But now I can actually go in and draw. So I'm enhancing the shapes that are already here. So maybe some teeth in his little clipper arm so he can grab stuff really well. And the nice thing is I'm using markers, so I can always switch colors as often as I want. So maybe I want to switch over to this orange color here. So you can do as many prints as you want. And the nice thing is you can change colors so you can add new things to your robot as you're working on these different ones. So for instance, if I did start working on the blue one, well, I wouldn't use this blue-green marker on there because it wouldn't show up very well. It would look too much like the blue. But if I use the orange here and I add some of these things, 
the orange shows up pretty well against the blue. I don't have to do it just like I did on the other one. So I want you guys to do a couple prints. Uh, be creative and think about what designs and what elements you're going to add to your robot. And you can do as many of these as you want. All right, good luck.